so much happening in terms of what she was doing with her voice. Highly, highly, highly trained. Stop trying to flatten the tongue. <sighs> you could listen to a sing the phone book. Kia ora and welcome, my name's Zoe Stevie, your vocal coach for today, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at Sydney Christmas singing my way. <sighs> I was so blown away by her performance of Tomorrow that I just had to have a look at her other VGT performances. Let's get straight to it, see what she's up to with her vocal technique. So this is such a fantastic song. So it's really important when you're going up for auditions or going and doing performances that you're really focusing on choosing music that also reflects the age that your try that your voice portrays because your voice, the song and the way you look really have to match when it comes to these types of performances. That started like straight in. Let's go back on it and uh, have a look at what she's doing because she's bringing in that, uh, <laughs> I did him my way. She's bringing in that little bit of compression there of the constricted muscles. So I faced the final curtain My friends are safely I'll state my case Of which I'm certain I've lived the life that's full more than I did my highway yes now so I just had to bring up the lips but you go and now the end is near and she's got that slightly lowered larynx sound you can see though this is great the tongue is very far forward behind the back of the bottom teeth but it's still just this gentle constricting of those upper constrictor muscles to create that and now the end is near because that way you create that sort of darkened sound um, without actually pulling the tongue back down in the mouth and you can just we'll watch that again yeah we're gonna watch it again so that you can see the way that she's using the vowels in order to change the sound and these like soft these crescendos and going really quiet and then loud again this is technically incredibly difficult this takes like years and years and years of practice to get to this kind of level let's watch that again So I face. Uh, sorry, sorry, guys. Uh, I've had too much coffee this morning. But you go, and now a little glottal onset. Excellent way if you you're starting so and now rather than scooping up to that first note because it kind of comes out of nowhere and it's really quiet. So think about doing that and now holding on to the vocal folds closed before the onset of the tone. It's relatively difficult, but rather than going, and eh, now, and creating that louder sound, and without going, and eh, now, kind of just sort of like, 
it hits us, but it's not a really, really, really loud sound. But if you want to learn more about the glottal onset and how to do it, check out my free challenge available in the description below. Find your chest voice in five days um, because a lot of what we're going to do in that challenge is exactly what Sydney's doing here. The fine curtain, my friends are safely. I'll stay my case, of which I'm certain I've lived the life that's born. more than this I did it my highway yes there were times I'm sure you knew when I'd been off more than I could chew but through So this is very, very typical musical theater where we're kind of taking everyone on a journey. We're going up and then we're bringing them back down again. This shit is not easy, what she is doing, but you can see she's not using loads of facial expression, but what she's doing is she's singing it with intention. You want to keep watching her. She's singing and using the consonants and the lyrics to really color the sound. We'll go back again and have a look at that whole because it was like, so much happening uh, in that section. Notice the way that that, so notice when she goes and she does that kind of the constriction, but regrets, I've had a few. And then it disappears as she goes higher up in the range. Now she's kind of like this critical section in the middle where everyone starts clapping and that's actually relatively hard to keep that constriction going, but you'll notice everything opens up and it's so good because you can see like the whole mouth going soft palate goes up um, and it's really fantastic to do that that uh, that still close up of her mouth. Um, so important to notice as well the tongue tension in there. So many things to notice. <laughs> I'm getting carried away by myself. Ah, highway, yes there are times I'm sure you knew when I been off more than I could chew. You can see the when I was down, and she's going to down. That's definitely a little bit of the constrictor muscle at the back there, but you can notice as well the tongue's just coming ever so slightly away from the front teeth. That's a bit of tongue compression. That's where we keep the back of the tongue steady, and we're bringing the front of the tongue backwards, and that's sort of what Christina Aguilera, for example, does, or Anastasia or even Shakira as well to kind of create that darkening of the sound. Um, it's not a must and it sometimes can hinder your ability to sing high, but I mean, definitely not Sydney. Yeah, but it, it takes practice to keep the back of the tongue forward and to just move the front part of the tongue. That is though a free singing lesson I have available down in the description below for you to work on the tongue position. It's so important when we're singing. Um, and you'll notice that her tongue, it kind of, when she's going high, it really spreads up. It's very tense. It's not flat in the mouth. And that's so important. Stop trying to flatten the tongue. Um, oh, this is so beautiful. The connection to the lyric. <sighs> God, you could listen to her sing the phone book. Let's just go back on that last little bit. When I've been off more than I could chew. 
I'm so sorry because I just have to point out that you're you can see the lip rounding. When I've been a month more than I could chew, so the rounding of the lips and bringing them forward is going to darken that sound as well, which is again gonna it's just gonna help to create that darkening. And when she's going higher up in the range, she's opening the mouth more. But true because they're just so proud and it's just so nice to see them. Um, I love that she didn't come down and do a repeat of the first performance where she came down and sang it quietly. Uh, let's just go back on. There was so much happening in terms of what she was doing with her voice. You notice that the intensity also increased not only in the volume, but it was also increasing in her body. She wasn't doing like wild gestures all over the place, but it was getting like more tense. And that's an excellent way for you to support through the larger muscles of the head, neck and the back in order to create those more uh, belted notes. This was definitely belting, okay? But if you are looking for belt help, that is a masterclass that I am gonna be running from July in my Vocal Academy. Check out the link in the description below because we will go into anchoring, which is exactly what she did when she was lifting, you know, going out with the arms. You can't really see my hands, but she was going out. Then she is not to say the thing she truly feels in the words of one who kneels. No. And you can see that's why. Ah! get corrected in the comments f sharp five <laughs> i don't give a fuck whatever f sharp five that one up there that one up there i always get corrected because i seem to say these wrong every single time but when she, you still hear them she went, I shall live in other words um and that like i always sort of, sort of um talk about it in lessons like it's a you're being the transformer you're going boof you're pushing up chest is going up, neck is kind of raising, and your lats are going boof downwards. And that's exactly what we want in order to stabilize. Basically what you're doing is you're, uh, when you're engaging the lats, and lats are massive muscles that like wrap around, that is arresting the diaphragm. So it's, it's basically holding the diaphragm back from going upwards and letting all of the air out. And that's what we want when we're belting. We want an increase in the breath pressure here in the chest. And that's why you can kind of hear her, <gasps> her really short, sharp, high breaths because we need those in our belt technique. But I want you to think about it like a chain. So I want you to think you're packing the lats. You're going power, you know, you're powering up. <gasps> you're breathing into that and you're using your glottal onset to get onto that note. A um, little bit of twang in there. We'll talk about that though in the next break because I do feel like she introduces more twang now. Okay, 
right, so that is up on the B flat four the B flat above middle C. And that is relatively difficult when you're coming back down in the range that you don't add too much weight to the sound because you notice, you can also see inside her mouth. Can you see like the back of her mouth is, is shaking as well along with her vibrato. I love that. I love that you can see like right in, it's all turned on. It's all like, it's, it, there's a lot of tension going on in the mouth there. And you need that with the tension in order to create that resonant space within the mouth. But you've got to, I took the blows. She's using a lot more of the weight of the vibrato is adding the weight, but she's also darkening the sound by just lowering the larynx as well, which is very challenging. I mean, definitely challenging for, for my voice and for my type. That's much darker than I would sing on that note. Oh, that was so beautiful. Um, so that is, that's the E flat five. Now that's a really, really lovely note in order to do the my on the D, my, and she's, sorry, she's on the C sharp, my way. And that is so good with the W is a lovely transition to get up to the second note. Sometimes it's not about the notes that we're singing, it's about the consonants and the vowel choices that we're making. So she's not going, actually way is a really perfect sound to belt on, but using that back pressure of the my way and pitching the w is really gonna help you to get that second note. And that's what she did. It wasn't my way and she didn't pull the note up there. Opening up like that is a really, really great way to stabilize through those larger back muscles. As I was talking about before, lifting the head as well can really help that. It's probably also a bit of a dramatical, you know, a dramatical, a dramatic decision as well that she's made. But it, that kind of all together is really going to help her with the belt. The shoulders are back and down, the arms are wide, and the head is just slightly lifted there, which can help some people to get into a belt uh, quality. Not everybody, but as I say, some people do find it a little bit easier. Those short, sharp, high breaths, though, are an absolute must. Oh my goodness me, Sydney. I just really want to point out that there is no shame in being a trained singer as opposed to someone with a natural talent. You'll notice it's the people who have like a really solid base. She has the vocal technique to get through all of these interviews and all of these performances that she has to do, you know, further down the line. But if you want to improve your singing and if you want to start lessons, then check out the link in the description below for my Vocal Academy because I'm here to help you to find your true voice and for you to just like sing whatever you want, whenever you want, in whatever style you want. And I'm here for it because that's what I love to do and to show you that it's all possible. Anyone can learn to sing. You just have to be shown how. Sydney. You can check out my other Sydney performance up here, as well as my breathing for singing down here. It's so important with your breathing when you are singing in these slightly louder vocal qualities. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button so that we can geek out about vocal technique more often and we can watch more songs like this. I'm here for it with $3 presses in team. Let's do it. Have an awesome day. Happy channel.